But it's not only the, ta the, the uh, tax collection that's off, it's us other revenues that we- The conveyances. The conveyance tax that, uh, uh, that, that is, you know, when they sell a home, because home sales are off. Uh, personal property tax is, is a problem and for next year. I, I think while you're on the topic, it should be should note another historic first that I've never seen before. Our grand list, which is the basis of our, our tax rate, has declined. And I saw in the paper that Brookfield has this, had so, the same so, problem yes. today, and I'm sure other towns do. And the grant, it's declined for several reasons. The, the lack of house, new housing starts, the uh, the client depreciation of personal property, you know, in, in factories they tax in Connecticut personal property. Right. There's a considerable income in uh, machinery and things like that, and people aren't buying new cars. Yes. They're keeping the old ones, and uh, that's caused uh, so that you're not getting the new tire, the new car tax rate. So right. that's off about eight percent, I think I heard in Bethel. It, it's a ripple across, you know, yeah. matter. You know, it's not unique to Bethel. We we realize that, and uh, you know, I sort of compliment Bob Burke and Barry Carina for having the courage to sit down with the departments and say, you know, this is not last year, this is not two years ago, uh, this is a reality check here. Uh, you know, we do have to start sharpening the pencils and as uh, you said, at this early stage of the budget, for just on the town side, we're uh, less than last year by 0.15 percent. Yeah, and that's, you know, we haven't reached the final recommendation of the, of the Board of Finance on the town side. Um, the, the one thing that's, for instance, uh, should be noted on the town side of the budget that's impressive is that all of the department heads, I believe there's about 14 of them, right. are, are accepting a wait, raise freeze. Right. They will not receive a, 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 an increase. And that amounts to a What's considerable like, amount of money, right. savings. Um, the Board of Education is still working on their budget. The initial pr uh, proposal from the superintendent to the school board was, I think, uh, an increase of two point four or five percent. percent right. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. I think the biggest, two biggest uh, factors in their uh, budget uh, that is the contractual salaries is about 350,000 and their me medical insurance. Health care, right. Health care is a, as it stands now, I think uh, is over a half a million dollar increase from last year. And they're trying to do something about that. They're trying to put it out to bid again or whatever. So hopefully uh, they'll be able to do something there. But with the school budget uh, this year, one of the biggest factors, and, and it's an unknown, is what the state legislature is going to do. Right, the ECS. The, the, the Educational Cost Sharing Grant, which uh, Bethel d depends upon it. We're one of the, uh, ter we're looked upon as one of the less prosperous towns in, in northern Fairfield County. And, you know, we, dip, we get about close to $8 million a year, roughly, in, in that. Mm -hmm. And if that was to decline, and we thought last fall, and once again, we don't know what's going to happen, but initially there was rumors last fall we we're going to lose a, reduce that by 10%, which would be over $800,000. That would be very disastrous for Bethel. Now, the governor's proposal that she made to the state legislature, uh, she held fast, or in, or in other words, in, kept in place what last year's amount of money would be. So we would basically get the same amount of money, maybe give and take, I'm talking only a thousand or two. However, uh, I don't know how that's going to hold because I read in the paper the other day that uh, the, the representative from God, uh, Godfrey from Danbury, who's a, a you know, minority, or I'm not minority, but he's a deputy majority leader in the right. legislature with the majority uh, Democratic Party. I met with area superintendents and some members of the Board of Education, including our, our own in Bethel, and uh, he didn't pa paint the same picture that the governor painted. He painted a picture that uh, they could expect a cut. cut in the ESC grant. Um, because the governor's proposal seemed to uh, cut, make a lot of cuts in, uh, in, in uh, other areas of the you know state funding and jobs and, and so forth. and uh, so. 